Hey, welcome back to Breakfast Television, everybody. 8.30 a.m. And that's not Alex, but that's his voice. It's me. It's Wild Room Wild here. Room How's it going? I mean, you've done this with reporter. me before. Yeah, I love this. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, a little longer of a day, not going to lie. You guys really uh, really work here. We, yes. We, a lot we, of moving parts. Yes. A lot of things going there on. There is a whole lighting, team of people moving, like, uh, makeup chairs and couches it's like a real tv show it is you're on a real tv show out there right? yeah, yeah. And you guys are going to want to stay tuned because Wilder is breaking all kinds of stuff Look at today. It. Stress relief, Wilder. He looks insane. <laughs> he looks insane. I have, I have no stress this morning. This is great. <laughs> I love it, guys. I know I look like a mad scientist right now, but I am actually at Cast It Day. It's called Break City. It's at Peanut and Sherbrooke. It's so cool. They let you smash stuff to relieve stress. Yeah. Coming up, after the break, I'm talking to the owner, and you can bring anything you want. This is a cell phone that I used to hate. Guess what? It's going down. I hated that cell phone. Okay, it's 7.15, and you're watching Breakfast Television. Why has the weird decided that it's time to eat a clementine? Why? I'm making a mess of the desk a little you, bit here. What's okay between my nail polish marks and your clementine? You know what? This is important. Okay, it's I haven't seen the sun in a while. Yes. In Montreal, and we're talking about beating the, beating winter. the yeah. winter blues. And this is how I do it. A little vitamin C goes a long way. That's that's your tip. Is you uh, you chew on some clementine. I you. chew on some clementines. I got my Tropicana. You're good to and go. And I get some vitamin C into me. Also something that I, I tend to take is vitamin D. Yeah. That, that perks you up a bit. Hey, welcome back to Breakfast Television, everybody. It's 8.51 a.m. And Joanne, I gotta tell you something. I've been dealing with a serious issue all morning. Which is? I have a hair in my mouth that I can't get oh, rid of. This is so gross. It's moved I from this side of my mouth. I cannot believe you brought this up. To this side of my mouth. Now. All morning, every commercial break, he's like, it's here, it's here. I've had the play by play on this yucky situation. I've been washing my mouth out with water. I've been like, have my finger in my mouth. If, uh, if anyone could honestly send me a tweet or something and let me know how to get rid of this hair if, in my mouth. And if we've just lost 20 viewers, because that's disgusting. I'm going to go and try and get it. <laughs> All right, it's time to take a little quick look at a weekend in sports. Uh, we got some Habs news, some NFL news, uh, but I'm going to start with the Montreal Canadiens who were playing their seventh game in 11 days. And uh, let me tell you, it definitely showed in the first period of this game versus the Buffalo Sabres on Saturday. They were a little sluggish, a little slow, but things picked up. When the grind line stepped it up, Brandon Pruss, Travis Moen, Ryan White, I love these guys, uh, they combined for five points, uh, Pruss getting the first goal, uh, Carey Price, another great game, 23 saves in this 3-2 win for the Canadians. That, that's their fifth straight win. Go Habs, go. I'm loving this team right now, uh, and especially that grind line uh, with Moen and Pruss and, and White. Very, very cool game. My brother and uh, my dad who had great seats this game and did not invite me. That's just a, a small little side note. Stephen Brun joins us now from our Sportsnet studios in Toronto. Now, Stephen, in the past you've called being head coach of the Montreal Canadiens the toughest job in sports, and I can't argue with you there. The team has had six different head coaches in the last 10 years. Uh, what makes this job so difficult? Well, there's a bunch of different elements. You know, number one is you're working in a market where 
hockey is a 24-hour obsession, 365 days a year, where there are talk shows all the time, where there's a constant conversation about one team, and it's your team. I guess you're saying, uh, you know, I'm part of the Montreal media, so I'm part of the problem, obviously, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, but I'm, I guess, you know, you're any kind of, you know, having any type of private life, you know, must be impossible as head coach of the Montreal Canadiens. What kind of person do you have to be to succeed as the head coach of a Canadiens team? Well, you have to be, you have to have a lot of confidence. You have to be very confident in your own abilities. You have to be very confident in your ability to go out and give the message every day. Stephen, thanks for your insight on this. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Wilder. Yeah, Alex Garcia in studio, everybody. And we got the Rocky music, music playing there. You were already you were fist bumping a little bit. You're getting yeah, into it already. Get in there, yeah. It's early in the yeah, morning, but yeah. do you get up early to train? No. No. <laughs> I don't blame you. I get up like around 9.30 in the morning. Sleep is pretty important, I guess, for yeah. guys. Yeah, and also because of my schedule. Right. I fight late at night, so I go to bed late at night, so I get used to. Exactly. The fight is normally late at night. So yeah. you're, you're, the next fight for you is UFC 171. Uh, it's in Dallas. How are you preparing for that right now? You know, as always, you know, I always train hard, you know, and I always be focused, you know, because it's very important to me to keep myself training hard, yeah. to be in my best shape the night of the fight. So let's talk about training for a second. You've been training with George St. Pierre right here in Montreal at the TriStar Gym. Uh, tell me a little bit about him and how you met him and how, what he's taught you. He's a very good personality, you know. He helped me a lot to my career, you know, talking to me, like giving me the right advice. And he's just, he's just honest with you. He, what, is, yeah. what kind of advice does he, does he give you? I mean, you're a young guy, 26 years old. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes I, I have my doubt in my head. I ask him some question, you know, and he always correct me to go the right way. And you know, that, it's so important that mental game. Yeah. And you know, you're known as the Dominican nightmare, <laughs> and you get in guys' heads right from the start. This is your UFC debut. We have some footage from yeah. it, and you beat this guy in 43 seconds. Thank you, Carolyn, yeah, for thank keeping you, Carolyn. us <laughs> connected. <laughs> Sorry, we had a little bit of an audio issue uh, there. Hey. No, I was just, I was just, you know, I was just zoning out. You just, were zoning I was just out. Taking the uh, the moment in there, and All right, we'll be but now taking you're back. Elias Makos in <laughs> after the break. He's got some cool stuff for us. Uh, he's got some Bixie reactions. Yes. And he's got a very bizarre engagement. So yes. you want to stick around to Breakfast Television, everybody? It's on City. I've never been carried by a woman before. This is amazing. This is a brand new feeling for me here at IKEA, the largest IKEA in North America, here on Cavendish. They've actually expanded their factory. And uh, Alicia here from IKEA Canada, she's putting me to work after the break. So stay tuned to Breakfast Television, only on City. See you later, guys. Well, obviously an amazing kayaker, a Pan Am Games champion, but a terrible coach. The, the tips you gave me, I flipped immediately, but you're giving me a bigger boat. So we're going to go for a race right now. And you don't have to give me any tips because I'm yeah, feeling pretty confident. What's, <laughs> what, what's great is Ray is going to offer to be our referee. Ray, just give us the count whenever you're ready, buddy. Ready, set, go. <laughs> He got a bigger, oh, you see it. I knew. I, oh, there he goes again. <laughs> I think Wilder is just too big for the boat. I have no idea what I look like right now, and it's probably a very good thing, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm here at Fright Fest at La Ronde. This is Jane. She's been working on me for about a half hour now, and the whole place is transformed. you got to come check it out. starts this Saturday. goes until the 27th. It's also open on October 14th for the long weekend, and there's going to be creatures all over the park walking around looking as scary as I do right now, I'm sure. And Jade is behind that. She's the makeup artist. And so what what, what kind of creations uh, are you making this year? And, and what's the most popular? Probably the zombie with Walking Dead, right? <laughs> yes. We have uh, 80 actors on the site, and we have 14 makeup artists. So we have a lot of creature, different creature. Um, now, the, the, the Renoir restaurant is celebrating Australia. Uh, it's in the Sofitel. And uh, i got to say, to start things off, how happy I am that you're tall. 
Yeah, it's nice to be on the same level with somebody. I like this. And that we're eating. This is going to be great. So let's get into the salad. What are we making first here? We're trying on everything here at Ski Town. Uh, Marte, uh, my camera guy, he's trying on goggles, as you can see, here with Bob, the owner. And we are talking helmets after the break. So stick around. And who said helmets can't be cool? Check this out, guys. I'm loving this. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's got the GoPro. He looks like a Chilean miner, this guy. I love it. Uh, stay tuned to Burgers Television, guys. <laughs> On City. I think we're going to be drinking coffee, but I don't drink coffee, but I think today I'm having a coffee, so watch out. Back to you guys. Do you think I'm going to catch something? You know what? If you do this early, it's tough to get lucky this early in the morning. I, I can attest to that. Catherine, thank you so much for that. appreciate it. And if, listen, if you catch anything out there, you should probably throw it back. I'm just saying. It's St. Lawrence River. Okay, we're going to send it over to Joanne now with all of your headline news. <laughs> And finally, about 2.5 million Canadians tuned into City's coverage of the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. And Entertainment City, live at the Grammys, was the number one Canadian red carpet special. Thanks everyone for watching. All right, everyone, you're going to want to stay tuned for this. After the break, Joanne and I are discussing the true love bra. This, I gotta see. Joanne's already laughing. Stay tuned to Breakfast Television on City, everybody. Panini's dessert. Look at this beautiful <laughs> dessert that they served up for me. Ah, uh, CBD. I'll be telling I you was, about that in just a moment. Back to you. I was waiting while there, I was at CBD. I was like, when is when is the food going to... There it is. There it is. When's you it? make the plate, you paint the plate, and then, then you, you eat, eat on it. you eat out of the plate. Yes. You eat out of it, you buy it. That's the... You can that's, have your plate and eat your cake, too. And eat it, too? Eat your plate? You can't eat your plate. There's obviously a lot of rules to the game. Yeah. But let's get right into it. The, 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 what's the What's the point? The point is to get your rocks the closest to the button at okay. the end. That's how you score. Okay, and the advantage would then go to the person who goes second. Yeah, the team. Okay, that goes so I'll second. go second. I'll let okay. you go. I'll let you go first. Perfect. Because I need all the all the help I can get here. This is a true professional. Nick is. Uh, I'm going to talk while he's uh, while he's going. I'm trying to I'm trying to mess him up. Nick is going to be hopefully representing. Come back in the provincials. Uh, he's got a big tournament coming up on on Boxing Day. That looks pretty good. Hey, Doug, don't help him too much. Hey, he doesn't need too much help. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna, only going to have time for one throw each. Wow, that's a pretty good shot, buddy. Now you got to take that out. I got to take that out. If I could take that out, I'm good. Here we go. I'm just throwing it as hard as I can. Oh, oh, this could be good. Get there! Doug, help me out, buddy. This is for breakfast. Oh! Wow. I'm going to the provincials. <laughs> no, no. no. Good job. See, the advantage does go to the person who goes second. Oh, of course. We're, listen, we're, I'm going to give Nick another shot at this a little later in the morning, guys. I'll send it back to the studio for now. Hey, welcome back to Breakfast Television, everybody. And Elias Mackles is in the studio. He's furiously typing. I think he's maybe doing his, his fantasy, uh, his no. football stats or no, this Final is, Fantasy. He's Murder, She Wrote. Remember how she oh, used to he's, write he's those... typing the great American novel. Yes, he is. Elias, uh, what are you doing over there, buddy? Uh, I'm trying to hack into Joanne's bra. What do you think? Oh! <laughs> I was waiting. I was wondering when someone was going to make the show. Uh, My bra is safely fastened. Let's yes, leave it there. for the viewers at home. What uh, bra? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Thanks for watching. I'm Wilder Weir. And I'm Ali Lozoff. Join us again next time for another episode of Montreal Connected. Until then, stay tuned to City. Of course that happened! <laughs>